I'm Robert Fuller, wildlife artist and filmmaker. And I've been busy over the summer months filming wildlife around my home in North Yorkshire. I planted this meadow a couple of years ago and at this time of year it's absolutely teeming with life. There's a huge diversity of flowers here. We've got scabious, knapweed, oxide daisies, and the bees and butterflies absolutely love it here. It's been a bumper season for the chicks in my homemade nest boxes, and it's always a pleasure to watch them grow and fledge in the warmer months. Our pair of kestrels had six chicks this year, and they're now starting to take to the skies. In the nearby trees, I've been keeping a close eye on tawny owl chicks, who are about five weeks old. Now they've entered what is known as the branching phase, so I've just come down to take a look for them. That's incredible, there's five of the outlets on a branch up there. And for the next three months, the chicks will stay close by and be dependent on the parents for food. In summer, buzzards are a common sight soaring overhead. I was lucky enough to find a nest and get a camera on it quickly. These chicks are around three weeks old. Over the next few weeks, I watch as their fluffy down gives way to darker flight feathers. And they start to test their wings. And fly for the first time. Though it seems not everyone is quite ready to take the leap. So there's just this one buzzard left in the nest now. I think they're getting quite used to me coming. Two have obviously fledged. And it's going to be fascinating to see when this little guy fledges. In my garden, the young stoat family that moved in during spring are doing well. And the four kits are now at an age where they want to get out and explore. The stoats have always enjoyed playing on my children's climbing frame and this family are no different. So I make sure I've got remote cameras set up to record what they get up to when no one's around. They seem to love exploring and play fighting here and I even bring out a paddling pool for them too. On warmer days, the pool is a perfect place to cool off. In other parts of the land, there's plenty happening too. These long summer evenings give me the perfect opportunity to head down to the local badger set. There's already one of the cubs out in the grassland feeding, so I'm going to creep in and see how close I can get. That's absolutely hilarious. The badger cubs just smelt me and then puffed all of its fur up, making itself look bigger and then he's just gone back to feeding. Really confident badger this. This is one of the biggest badger sets around here and back in the spring I counted 11 badgers here. So this is a great place to watch them. There are at least five adults living here and six cubs. The family dynamics are always entertaining. Like this father and son scratching display. Over the course of the summer, it's been a real privilege to enjoy amazing wildlife moments like these, so close to home. And something I never tire of, whatever the season. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe to see more. Here's a taste of what you'll enjoy seeing on this channel.